kind of flabby. I'm flabby in math. Math flabby. Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Monday here. And uh, I did uh, I did a couple things while I was gone. Well, off the air, of course. Not while I was gone. Obviously, I can't do anything when I'm not here. But uh, this is a uh, I made this elevator here. I had this idea after I got done recording uh, the last Monday of Minecraft, and it's like you know we really need an elevator. And I can do that using structure block or the carriage, the remains in motion. So it's very simple. I can go down to any level with this, all the way down to bedrock. It's kind of slow, but uh, it works. I even made a little ladder here to where if I need to push the elevator down a little bit so I have access to the mine shaft here, I can do so. And I can change the direction, of course, of the uh, carriage here using the directional carriage block. So yeah, I figured that would be uh, that would be kind of interesting. But uh, what we're going to work on today here is, if you can tell by the Accio hoe that I have in my hands here, and the Accio pickaxe. We're going to work with magical crops. We're going to get magical crops maxed out here. With the uh, the mag, we have enough stuff here. We should be able to do everything we need to do with uh, magical crops. The only downside is it takes forever. Yeah, the crops take forever to grow. The you know it's, to, to find the stuff is next to impossible. But we have a solution in this mine pack and it's the watering can here. So if you missed the uh, crafting recipe, it's basically just four pieces of iron, a bowl, and a piece of bone meal to make the watering can. And this is the easiest way to get started and to actually finish magic crops. So I just planted nine here, and we wanna work in a nine by nine area. And let me turn on my particle effects here. I turn them off because when I, uh, when I'm in a, um, when I'm on the server and I'm turned into a, uh, a blaze, I can't see because the blaze particle effects. So I usually just turn off the particle effects. But as you can see, the particle effects here, this, this watering can affects a three by three area and the crops are growing fairly quickly. Now, normally I would just break these. Like if I'm just starting out, I would just break these. But since we have the Accio hoe, and the Accio hoe, which sounds really funny, gives me one extra, one extra essence per crop. So with this nine, I'll get 18 and so on and so forth until we can get up enough. I already made the infusion stone. So we were able to go up. We're, we're one level ab ab above here, but you, literally you can do this right from the start. You don't have to uh, level up your magic crops before you get to do this little fun thing here. Well, all the magic crops are almost grown here. Got one left. I'm gonna go ahead and put those in there because I wanna see exactly how much we get here. There we go, there's the mine. Of course I have magnet on. And yep, there we go, 18. And we got one extra Minecio seed. So that's a plus. The, the more we do this, the more extra seeds we'll get. And we're gonna need those extra seeds for um, making new crops. And the cool thing too is the all the magic crops react the same way. And there's other things you can do too to increase the speed. There's uh, Thumbcraft growth lamps. There's uh, in magic crops. There's uh, growth pulsars. Um, growth pulsars are insane to use because you need a stack of 64 under each and every plot. 
that you want to grow. Once you do that though, they'll grow almost instantly. But it the the growth pulsars, and I'll show you the crafting recipe for this here. Growth P growth pulsar. And it's Minicio block. Now Minicio block of course is nine Minicio stone and a diamond. So figure you need nine stacks of 64 diamond, 36 stacks of 64 Minicio blocks, and 32, 36 stacks of, of 64 stone as well. In order to make a three by three plot grow almost instantly. Oh, granted, once you do it, I mean, it's it's incredible, and you can actually automate this, the, the thing really quick. Which we may do, um, because we are going to need automated crops for uh, a few things here. We'll do that in another episode. But I do want to get this maxed out. See, we're at 13 Municio seeds already. Which is good. Well, we're good. let's take what we have here. To the Accio. All right, can't go above Accio because I don't have anything. So let's go. Let's see what seeds we can make with Accio. And we can make nature seeds, rubber seeds. Air seeds, earth, fire, dye, and water. Hmm. I'm wondering if we should make the dye seeds. Let's make the dye seeds because um, we're going to need those for carriages. And where's all my dyes? Oh, we can use rose dye. And since we have extra Vinicio seed, oh, use that stack of 24 that I've had before. Take on there. Honestly, we can just go like this. Oh, hey, I can make cow seed. Oh, no, that's a Accio bag. Plants two by two. An Accio furnace. I've honestly never made those. It's not really important right now to make those. Let's take all three seeds. That'll work. So I'm going to take this row here and we're going to plant our Technicolor seeds. We'll grow these plants. Now unfortunately the Accio hoe only works with uh, Minicio crops. It doesn't work with any of the other um, crops unfortunately. But uh, I still use it. Now, if you have a planter harvester already set up, you can still use this method. You just don't have to uh, harvest, but you're not going to get the benefits from the uh, from the from the Accio hoe. And using this method, it doesn't take very long at all to climb the ranks of uh, of magical crops, especially if you have a good source of uh, Minicio already built up. So honestly, I think what takes the longest is getting Minicio. Because you need Minicio to make all the other ones. And we got two extra Technicolor uh, seeds, so... After this crop grows, we should be able to upgrade our Infusion Stone. And move on to the next one, which, which I think is Crucio. I'll also speed this part up here a little bit too, so that way um, you can see how everything grows. Let's take and uh, upgrade our stone here to a regular infusion stone 
Let's also take our Minicio. And since we have the next version, oh, we only have two Crucio. We're going to need more Crucio. Now this, uh, th th this method usually takes an evening. A few hours. We're going to shorten this up to um, half an hour, obviously. So that way you guys don't have to sit here for two hours and watch me grow crops. <laughs> it'll, be, uh, it'll be sped up my normal uh, 800%. Because I get through this so quick, I'm always accused of cheating when I'm doing magic crops. And it cracks me up because it really doesn't, it doesn't take that long. I mean, it can. But, uh, this method, it really speeds it up. All right, this should give us our last bit of Crucio. It's a little bleed over. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade the Accio Ho to Crucio Ho. And that's because now I get two extra Essence. So instead of 18, I'll get... Uh, well, twice that. <laughs> yes, I'm horrible with math, people. Sorry. It just doesn't come natural to me. It's like a muscle that I haven't worked in a long time. It's kind of flabby. I'm flabby in math. Math flabby. Well, we got some uh, crops over here that are growing. We'll go ahead and harvest those as well. Any extra we get is only going to help us. All right, now that we have four Crucio, so let's, uh, let's type in Crucio. Well, actually, we'll go from Accio, Crucio, and let's find out. So we can make Quicksilver, Nether, Saltpeter, Amber, Bronze, Mana Steel, Tin, Sulfur, you know what, let's do the tin. Since we we need tin. Four of those. And let's go. Thank you, Crucio. Oops, did it again. Tin. There we go. The sin right up tin yeah, tin right up front here. And let's go ahead and water these. All right, I wanted to wait until the last 
nine grew here. We have enough to make our next infusion stone. Boom, strong infusion stone. And as you can see, I mean, I've been at this maybe 45 minutes. And I'm already at, you know, a strong. So I'm, I can already make Imperium. Imperio. Let's go ahead and put the pump the essence through here. Make our first Imperio. All right, guys. Of course, this will take a for, this will take a little bit. I can go up here and water these. Make these grow a little bit faster. Since it only grows a nine by nine. All right, it's not a nine by nine. I'm sorry. I wish it grew a nine by nine. That would be awesome. It only grows a three by three. Nine total. I gotta kind of walk back and forth like this. To make sure everything gets watered. Now you can also set up a sprinkler system too. Uh, it doesn't work as fast as the watering can, but it is effective. I should probably do that for these passive crops. So I don't have to sit here and actively water them. All right, let's make some uh, Imperium, Imper Imperio. It's hard to say. Okay, so we only have two so far. It's kind of where it bottlenecks a little bit because of the, uh, the lack of Nisio. I mean, you can grow more crops like this. We can sit here and wait for this to mature. We can increase our, our crop sizes and yields. We probably should do that. Or you can go out and mine more. Uh, Minicio isn't in the mining world on this pack, so I would have to go up into the overworld and mass mine there, but. There we go. I have doubled the, uh, the crops we're growing here. And by just constantly walking back and forth like this, they all get watered. Yay! For Imperio, let's make our Imperio hoe. Boom! So we get four extra essence from Minecio crops. Now let me know, guys, too, if I'm using the watering can wrong, I don't know if I'm supposed to just hold it here on the crops 
until they grow or if I just water them once if they grow fast. So as you can see they still grow after I water them but they're gonna grow anyways. They just seem to go faster if I constantly water them. So let me know in the comments if I'm doing this wrong or uh, or I'm right on the money here. All right, let's see how much this has given us here. Ah, only three Imperio. So close. Okay, finally. Oh my gosh. Imperio Essence. So, let's see. Crucio, Imperio. Let's find out what we can make here. Do Iron Seeds. Just a good one. Gold, Lapis, Experience Seeds, Quartz, Creeper Seeds, Blaze Seeds, Ender Seeds, Skeleton Seeds, Slime, Spider, Ghast. Let's see if we can dig it. Already made to add the Imperial Ho. Do Arterite, Nickel, Osmium, Peridot, Ruby, Sapphire, Silver, Hilarium, Alumilite, Blizz, Electrum, Fluix, Invar, Alum, uh, Sclerum, Steel, Air, Air. Oh, okay, Air Shards. Water shards, fire shards, earth shards, empathy, empathy shards, or, or entropy. Wow. Order, thomium, electrical steel, electrical alloy, vibrant alloy, redstone alloy, conductive iron, pulsating iron, dark steel, and solarium. All right, so let's keep it simple. Let's just make iron. And we can move on to more complicated ones later. Iron seeds. And we'll plant them right here. Oop. Thought I had two, I only had one. Alright. So, back to the grind here.
We have eight iron essence. Let's go ahead and up our infusion stone to an extreme so we can get Zvincio. And let's see just how much essence we have here. But you guys kind of get the point here. It's it, mainly it's it's it is a bunch of grinding because of all the uh, essence you need, and of course that'll happen too. Where your stone will break over and over and over again. So we only have three diamonds. Let's use an emerald. You can use a stone, an emerald, or nine gold, a gold block, to make a weak infusion stone. We got one Zavincio. Out of all of that, we got one Zavincio. But all you got to do is repeat this process, and before you know it, you'll have a Master Infusion Stone. The Master Infusion Stones do not break. It's pretty much the end of the progression in Magic Crops. Uh, the only thing you have to do at that after that point is just make the seeds. Um, you know, for the different crops that you need, and you can make the other, the other wonderful stuff in the mod. Magical crops, right here, where you can make you can make the furnaces. I've honestly never made these, so I don't really mess with them. The growth pulsars, if you want faster crops. Um, I'm not sure what the tainted essence is. Huh, that's weird because it's not coming up. Um, well, here with the Vincio, you can make uh, diamond seeds, emerald seeds, wither seeds, um, and of course make a Vincio axe, hoe, and all that. Vincio hoe does eight extra from crops and does not break. Uh, same thing with the Vincio pickaxe. Um, but this one thing I haven't really been showing is the pickaxe part because you can't mine. Minicio in the mining world for some reason in this in this mod pack now it doesn't mean you can't ever but in this mod pack you can't but uh, the Zvincio pickaxe gives you 12 there are uh, 16 extra essence from each uh, ore node and as you can see uh, Minicio ore uh, there's another Minicio ore and end of Minicio ore so it does um It does spawn in these worlds, just not in the mining world. And then there's the igots. You can make Accio igots, Crucio igots, Imperio, Imperio igots, and Zvincio igots. They're only good for the armors. So honestly, I would only make enough to uh, to make each of the armors. As you can see, it just surrounds Diamond Helm. And then the next one surrounds the Accio, just like the, uh, just like the tools. It's the same thing. So there you go. That's uh, that's magical crops. That's how I progress so quickly in magical crops. It's literally just by sitting here and watering the crops. Now I've been at this maybe for. Uh, actually, here let me get you an accurate time. One hour and twelve minutes. Um, I, with the time, with the time last, it's not going to seem like an hour and 12 minutes, but in an hour and 12 minutes, I was able to go from level one Minicio or uh, level one, uh, magical crops to, um, being able to make Zvincio. And if I spent maybe another 45 minutes to an hour doing this, I would have all the tools, um, and I'd be growing diamond crops. So it's uh, it's not hard to do. It, it it doesn't take very long. It's just tedious. 
but once you get the hang of it, it's uh, it's not really all that bad. Now normally, if it was just magic crops, you would not be able to progress as fast, but because of the extra utilities water cans. Now, this isn't the best watering can either. I'm going to do something that I wouldn't normally do. I'm going to go ahead and bring in the best watering can and show you how quick it is. And this watering can is an insane. So it's the reinforced watering can. Now to make the reinforced watering can normally, it takes a soul fragment. Soul fragments uh, and a bedrockium, of course. I mean, it's it's insane. So you get a soul fragment from two unstable agates and a piece of obsidian to get a uh, uh, etheric sword. The etheric sword, you you use it once and it takes one heart from you permanently. And, and that gives you the soul fragment. The soul fragment is used, of course, to make this. It's an incredibly expensive um, tool, but look at this. Look how fast this goes. And look at the area I'm covering. I think I can actually sit here and hit all of the crops here. So, I mean, this 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 is insane. Uh, uh, if you have this or have the ability to make this, make it because... I mean, look how fast this is going. And it isn't just this crop either. Like, I can do this with any crop. I mean, that was insanely fast. If I if I would have had this watering can from the from the from the start, I wouldn't have even needed to uh, time lapse anything. I could have just sat here like this. And uh, everything pops up. But since we're not to this point yet, and this is cheating, we're not going to use this after this crop. <laughs> after I grow this crop. But, I mean, I, as you can see, I mean, it is really quick. Um, these watering cans are invaluable. And it's well worth that one heart, um, which I think you can get back through Tinker's Construct. through the heart containers. Let's go ahead and trash this. So we don't need it. Well, it did speed us up quite a bit here. The bad thing is I don't even think this will give us all that I just did. I think it takes 64 Minicio to make one Zavincio. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. If I'm not, nah. Yep, sorry. So it takes 64 Minicio to make one Zavincio. Um, and you can kind of see how, how long that would take to make that much. And this is why, I mean, it, it's it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough mod to get through. But again, like I said, once you get the grinding part down, and it really is just grinding. Now, this is, this is honestly probably the slower part of the grind because I am growing the Minicio, and I'm not uh, actively out in the world collecting it. If I was out in the world collecting it, I would end up with a lot more, especially with the uh, um, with the, with the magic crop pickaxes, because I get so much more Minicio. Um, best place for Minicio is the Nether. Uh, Minicio is everywhere in the Nether. If you can fly, you can just fly right to the nodes, uh, right to the ore, and take it all. But. Uh, since we are pretty early game and we don't even have a, uh, a portal to the nether yet or I think the ability to fly I don't think we can even fly yet no we can't got a chicken I can uh, I can slow fall so we can't even fly yet and we've already just about maxed out 
magic crops. So it's it's not hard. Again, like I said, it's just it's just the grind. And there really is no other way to speed this up other than uh, you can use sprinklers. Let's see. Let's see what we got to do to make the sprinkler here. Um. Oh, okay. So it's two iron bars, iron, and a torch. It is through open blocks. Let's make a sprinkler. Let's see what we got to do here. I need a open blocks tank under that. Glass panes and obsidian. And we have no obsidian. Let's correct that here real quick. can't hoe that. Sounds like a weird, uh, weird version of Thundercats. The Accio Ho. Alright, let's see. Oop. Oh. Let's do Tunnel 20. S. There you go. That stops the turtle, by the way. And let's head back. Mining base. And we need glass panes, which we have. And let's make the tank. Let's make a couple of them. Okay, we got our tanks. I don't know the area that this covers, unfortunately. Oh, looks like if I put it right in the middle, it, uh, it'd cover almost everything here.
It doesn't look like it's uh, using any of the water in the tank. It doesn't look like it's as quick. Let's try and add bone meal to it. Let's throw all these goodies in here first. Let's try and add bone meal. Um, it's supposed to help these things grow. See if it works for magic crops here. Oops. All right, yeah, it's not working as fast as the watering can. Let's see if we can do both here. It honestly looks like it just takes the place of the water block. Yeah, it looks like it's no different than if uh, if I was just to use the uh, um, bone meal. Like, as you can see, a bunch of stuff grew back here. <laughs> I don't really think it's helping with the crops at all. So I guess that answers that. Just in case anybody was wondering about the open blocks sprinkler systems. Wish it worked more like the watering can. That would be awesome if I could just throw the watering can in there. No. <laughs> it's only bone meal. Well, that's unfortunate, but not unexpected either. And I got two tanks, so or, uh, quite a few tanks actually. Tanks, but no tanks. All right. So that should do it for this Minecraft Monday. If you guys have any questions, please uh, feel free to ask in the comments. I will try to answer them as soon as I can. And uh, please check out my t-shirt store. You know, uh, if you like the designs and want to help out the channel, go ahead and uh, purchase a t-shirt. I get uh, portions of the proceeds and it will go towards uh, growing the channel. Um, other than that, uh, guys, uh, safe journeys, take care, and uh, until uh, until next week, we'll do another uh, Minecraft Monday. And I got subsistence all set up for the rest of this week, along with, uh, I want to get back into some Imperion. We're going to be resetting the server here soon. So uh, I, I do got to get on there and make sure all my stuff is blueprinted. So there's that. So have fun, guys. Take care, and... Uh, Till tomorrow.